right. Um, I've came across um, culture, the importance of culture for a nation, for our Western civilization, really, which is under attack right now. And make no mistake, it is the Western civilization that's under attack. It's none of the others. The um, the therapy that's ongoing at the moment is um, mainly attacking one group of people. Go find out for yourself. All you're going to do is go on brand YouTube where they're telling you the genetics that are affected. So I delved into culture and the importance of culture. And um, I can't stress this enough. Listen to this talk here, especially if you have children and you are worried about their future. You need to be aware of this. You need to be aware of mass formation, the importance of culture, and the importance of um, a religion that unites the masses. And unfortunately, this is the way it is. <laughs> this is, he is, William Butler Yeats. For without culture or holiness, which are always the gift of a very few, a man may renounce wealth or any other external thing, but he cannot re renounce hatred, envy, jealousy, revenge. Culture is the sanctity of the intellect. It's also the... <sighs> I don't know how to... Anyway, let's have a look. The tilling of land, so culture, the tilling of land, act of preparing the earth for crops, from Latin cultura, a cultivating agricultural, figuratively care, culture and honoring from past, parts of the stem of cholera to tend, guard, to till, cultivate, meaning the cultivation or reaping of a crop, act of promoting growth in plants, was transferred to fish, oysters, then to production of bacteria or other microorganisms in a suitable environment. The figuratively sense of cultivation through education, systematic improvement and refinement of the mind is attested um, by circa 1500 century dictionary writes that it was not common before the 19th century except with strong consciousness of the metaphor involved, uh, though used in Latin by Cicero, meaning learning and taste, the intellectual side of civilization, is by 1805 the closely related sense of collective culture customs and achievements of a people, particular form of collective intellectual de development is by 1867. Slang, culture, vulture, one voracious for culture is from 1947. Culture shock, disorientation experienced when a person moves from a different cultural environment or a an unfamiliar way of life is attested by 1940. My husband used to work in the Middle East a lot, where you have public executions on the television being broadcast, right? Floggings, the whole lot. Chopping off of hands, you name it. It's all there. The people who want to rule the world have to destroy our culture first. Culture gives us unity. We have been through education systems that are absolutely failing the masses, um, being disconnected from um, what really makes um, Western civilization. And that would be what's in the minds of people, which by a long, long process has given females the right to hold a pen in their hand and to write literature. Which, believe it or not, is an enormous achievement and we shouldn't be taking that for granted at all. I remember how delighted I was when I picked up my first copy of Jane Austen and I was able to read it in its original tongue and the beauty of the language, the way it flowed. Okay, she's not even here. Would she be on the A? Yeah. 
And when people don't even know what their own culture entails anymore, we are in a very dangerous situation. Where are you? Austin. Austin, Jane Austen, there we go. Emily Bronte, all of these novelists. There's your culture, guys. This is what consists, this is what English culture is. It gave people a framework for a good life. It, you know, their minds were incredible. We, we, we're devolving. James True is quite, quite, it's got that quite right. Going from novelists of this caliber with this beautiful flowing rhythmic language that just explodes pictures in your mind when you read them to the one fits all culture that we've got now. McDonald's everywhere. You can go into any city these days and everything looks the same. Yeah? Everything looks the same. All the buildings look modern, all samey samey. That's 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 nothingness. It doesn't give you cohesion. It doesn't give you anything worth fighting for. I'm just gonna You really need to understand this. England has a huge tradition and huge culture. They have to split this up. Because there's too many to name. Too many to name. Same, of course, for the, for the German culture. All the Western nations have given us freedom. But we're not, we're not taught this anymore. We're no longer reading these books. We're no longer being taught to appreciate, to understand what's behind all of this. We're given a hodgepodge of shit on the television. No longer is beautiful expression, beautiful language being celebrated. None of that is going on anymore. The importance of this is not being put into people's heads and it's got a devastating effect on the psyche and the masses do need it the masses need a framework the masses need religion I'll just play a little bit of this because they're always a little bit funny about sharing this guy on YouTube I'll see what happens but um do please understand, we do have a culture and we need to protect it. I've traveled to uh, to these Middle Eastern countries and it's awful. I've listened to a, a girl from Iran here on, on brand YouTube the other week who deplores the millions of child brides that are being married in Iran as young as two years old. Many of them die because they cannot take the sexual abuse at such an early age. And they're after us because we are the only free countries. And if you want to have a planet slavery, you got to get rid of the Western civilization and its culture. And it's a good culture. We're standing on the shoulders of giants, people, and we're chucking them in the dustbin. We're not even aware of them anymore. That is a dangerous place to be in. I, I, I keep stressing that there's not an article out there that's there for you to just to enjoy or, or uh, for your actual uh, 
intellectual titillation or education even, a census education, it's indoctrination and it's getting you ready for what's to come. Now, I've also mentioned about the New Age. The New Age uh, used to be the, the name of the Freemasonic magazine for the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry back in the 1950s. It was called The New Age. And in one of their magazines, they said their, their job was to bring in the New Age, you know, the Brotherhood of Man with a new spirituality. And theosophy was right in with it too. And the UN, of course, has its own uh, unit for theosophy, and there they accept the theosophy. Rockefeller is deeply into that himself. Rockefeller, families. You gotta be very careful with this society. There is innocent innocence there mixed in with very very dangerous philosophies mixed in with very dangerous people mixed in with people who are absolute and utter racists do your research on this society and beware of this society. Because I was shocked. I was shocked when I was listening to what this person has to say. Really shocked. And it's to encompass different religions, but mainly a form of Hinduistic, um, Buddhistic type uh, religion, some pantheism tucked in with it, uh, even Wiccanism is okay now. And uh, it's harmless, you see, it's harmless to governments because you want any united people standing up who have tenets of belief with, with their own laws of a god, who will fight them. So they love the New Age, they created the New Age movement for this very time. And I'll show you how it's been taught in Quebec schools when I come back after this break. Hi folks, this is Alan Watt and we're cutting through the matrix. There's such a long, 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 long war waged against the, the old institutions that at least gave people some kind of um, cultural identity. And there lies the problem because we've got nothing to unite behind anymore. I'm an open thinker, I'm open to all of these uh, philosophies, I, I diddle and, and delve into all of them to try and find the truth of the truth of the truth of the truth. And I know the religions and the religious institutions have done dire thing in the past, but Alan Watt is right with what he's saying here, and it's a dangerous path to tread on. And we've lost all cohesion. Anything goes now. Look around. Look around. And what's to come is not pleasant, guys. What's to come is not pleasant because this is a lie. It's a lie. To smear. Uh, a reason for a living, for being, to get through the hard times, all that kind of stuff. But especially the old religions that kept the families together, which is so important because we all go through incredible crises in our life. And when you don't have a family to turn to, you're you're really on your own. Of course, they give you guidance counselors, all kinds of counselors, and grieving counselors and counselors galore. Uh, they are so new agey that, uh, that really a lot of the, the counselors and psychologists today are really into the new age and the burn incense and all that stuff and, and, and laugh the smoke in your face and call down the, the good spirits and all that stuff and they call it psychology. But this is all, uh, we all realize too that during the time of, um, I think it was, um, oh, it was uh, one of the, the Russian premiers that was in. They actually set up a team to go across uh, America and Europe, a team of spies, you know, just, just quiet spies who observed things. And one of their jobs, it was Khrushchev in fact, under his term, uh, one of part of their jobs is to see how the New Age move, move 
movement, uh, and the drug movement and all the rest of it, how it was taking off. Was it really taking off properly in the West? You see, so at the very least, we should be rallying behind these people here. If we can't find anything else to rally behind, it should be the minds of the great people who came before us. I'll leave the link to the Alan Watt um, video underneath this video. Do please listen to what the man has to say. Because we are fragmented like it's... I am so worried for the coming generations when I look at what's going on. The fragmentation of everything. The pseudoscience. Science as a religion. That's why I like... Um, his channel so much because he's he's delving really deep into scientism. He's delving into all the aspects of our fragmentation at the moment and showing us the roots. We gotta wake up to this attack, people. And we haven't got much time left. And while it's all fair and good to say, look, you know, I don't feel like I belong to any country or nations. I think borders are artificial borders, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> when you travel and you see what people are like and how much under mind control people are in some of the lesser developed nations, and if you don't see the danger in that, and if you can't see the achievements of Western civilization, even though I see all the mistakes that have been made and all the bad things and all the good things and everything in between, I really see the danger in turning away from, from that. And there's numerous people who have escaped these kind of countries who are sitting on our side here telling us do not give up on what used to give you cohesion in the Western world and what burst what we have today. Don't do it. Don't fall in that trap. It's a trap. It's being laid deliberately and it's destroying what should give us protection. which is our culture, our traditions, our foundations, our countries. And as much as I hate to say it, but those that come and say, oh, we can erase all the borders, we can all come under one umbrella, the brotherhood of man, I can see that they don't have good intentions behind what it is they're saying. As much as I like to play with that idea myself in my head as much as I wished for that brotherhood of man unless it comes from the bottom up it's not real and at the present moment it is not coming from the brother bottom up and if you look at the the numbers of the affected or afflicted let's put it that way and you look which countries they sit in, that should give you a huge, great, big slap in the face. 